Hey man, where you from? Yo, I think he's deaf. Hey bro, I know you hear me, man. Where you from? Hey, where you going? Where you on them go talk to me? I thought so. What's up, man? What am I? My phone dead. In the zone. I got a phone. Man, who is you? What you doing? I'm an old man. My friends call me Doc. Look, I'm just calling you old man. I don't got time. You wasting. I got to go home. I got to be at 4 o'clock. My mom going to feed me. She don't want me to walk. But it's too dangerous son. outside. I'm complaining, son. You're going home with another two. Come on in so you can call your mom. Alright. I'm trying to get that for you. So what you want to tell me? Let me tell you something. This neighborhood was once safe. A long time ago, when people thought Jesus died for our sins. And Jonah part of the Red Sea. Man, what is you talking about? Sometimes I don't even know. When I first moved to this neighborhood, I was a licensed doctor at Mount Sinai. This neighborhood was filled with nothing but whites. You lie. Believe it, son. Me and Ellie thought it would be cool, you know, to live next to people our kind. For the kids, of course. But, you know, things change. What you mean you had to change? After Ellie and I moved in, that KFC character got assassinated. There was a big riot on Roosevelt Street. You mean MLK? Man, one of them acronyms. They just wanted equality. What's wrong with that? Nothing, but they were scaring my children. Have you ever been chased by a bunch of black people? Man, ain't nobody- Shut up, boy. Let me finish. Well, they kept fighting, you know. This cat named Joe Blackman, he moved in. And everything from there just... Joe Blackman, man, where my mom at, boy? You crazy. He was a meat packager. His house always smelled like meat. He ain't have enough money to, to provide for his family. And he always got harassed by white people. Man, that's crazy. Times have changed and people have changed. Yeah, I guess he died first physically, but not mentally. Oh, look, my mom outside, she hooking that horn on turning hard. That means she mad. She don't like, she don't like my keep her wet, so I gotta go. Oh, thank you for the clothes, too. They can't see. Well, thank you. You are, you know, next time you come over, I might tell you the time Moses came over for lunch. Alright. Alright. Didn't I tell you to take the bus home? Why are you walking? It's late at night. I'm Look, I, mean, I met this man named um, Doc or whatever, and um, he, he saw me getting chased. So I went to the outside, called you, tell you come get me, because you said you want me to walk. But um, but when I was in there, he talked about a man uh, used to be an all white neighborhood or something like that. No, no. Why is you listening to old man Arnold? He has mm -hmm. Alzheimer's, okay? He doesn't know. You, I told you not to go. I told you. He, he, he talked about a man selling meat. And I was hungry. You know what? When we get home, just go straight to bed, okay? Right. Go that's straight what, to see, bed. See, that's what I'm talking about. This one like talking to you. You don't, you don't like to listen to people. I'm telling you, I get, when I get this, I'm locked in my room. Don't you better say nothing else to me.